it's two beats. Da da. What's wrong with you? Just focus. Phrase goes towards the end of the bar. Come on, I told you already five times. First note, check with the open D. It's not a tune. Use your ears, do you have ears? Where's your focus? What, what are you looking at? What is that? That's nothing to do with Sibelius. The note you just played just then, what does it mean? Um, it's a G. It's not dominant. Yeah, well, imagine Sibelius. The G could be an interpretation of his life, you know, when it's cold and it's pain, but no one really knows what's going on, you know. Music is like an internal thing, but as well external influences. There's no words can describe what Sibelius is going through. And a lot of the time you have to just really understand what he wanted and whatever's written on the music can tell you everything, you know. You have to push through discomfort, be comfortable with the uncomfortable. Got it. Come in. Sounded good. Do you want to start from the beginning again? Uh, do you have anything else? Fill my tea. Go, go, you can play. Good, that's really, really good. Um, is there anything I can work on? Uh, no, not really. It's fine. I mean, just a bit more practice and you'll be. Perfectly fine. No worries about it. Take it easy. Don't don't work yourself too hard. I don't know. I just feel maybe I, I don't sound that great. Stop looking so sad. Just be happy. Be positive. Music is about sharing the love. If you start that note, you just have to catch the bow. It starts from the fingers. You gotta like everything has to happen. Articulation like. No, catch the bow, like I said, catch, catch. What type of catch do you think this is? The per or the k? It's not a pull. No, 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 it's the movement is from the fingers. Catch and release. Uh, by the way, um, how do you do good ricochet? You gotta catch the bow. Do you have any exercises for vibrato? You gotta catch the bow. You know, starting your first note is like a plane landing. You have to be a good pilot because if it's a bad landing, you can feel the bumps. The landing needs to be controlled and smooth, like, like, like this. You know, sometimes too much vibrato is like icing on a cake. It's just too sweet. You don't want to do too much, the cake is already sweet. Okay, analogy. Ah, stop there. The first bounce was not even. The, 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 the A is not really in tune with the D string. Yeah, yeah, the shoulders might need to drop a bit. Your nose can be a bit higher. The string crossing was a bit excessive. Feel the weight in this fourth finger, it creates the sound. You need to pull the string and push the string from there. 
Oh, there was five oscillations in that vibrato. It should be six. Okay, let's move on to the third bar. I'm a singer and this school can't find a violin teacher, but I think you should breathe. It'll definitely help your intonation. Oh, sorry, one second. Hello? Oh, yes, sorry darling, can I call you later just because I'm teaching right now? No, no, I'm not teaching, I'm not, no, no singer, I'm teaching a violin student. Yeah, I, I don't know, this, for my certificate diploma, they put me here to get experience teaching string instruments. That's just how it works. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay, so have you practiced your breathing for intonation? Kid, back in my days, we used to warm up with three octave scales. And every time we need to play, one hour of scales, two hours of studies, one hour concerto, one hour bar, and two hours chamber music, and three hours orchestra. Twelve hour days, you know, and today you guys just have too many distractions. Your phone, what's it called? So social media, and uh, what's the thing in social media? Uh, memes? You need to learn how to appreciate music and look deeper into it. Don't look. What is the marking here? What is the expression marking here? Uh... Fortissima Andante? Here, let me write it down for you. 